Okay, today's video is about common misconceptions slash common questions that I get asked about Love is Blind all the time. You might be wondering, Cam, why are you making this video? Your season of Love is Blind, season one came out in 2020. It's now 2023 at the time of recording. Are you just trying to cash in on the recent come out of season four? And the answer is yes, I am. Now get out of my business, okay? And let's get on with the video. No, we get asked these questions every time a new season of Love is Blind comes out. And I've answered these questions. Lauren and I have answered these questions in interviews many, many times. But I wanted to create a central resource, so to speak, where you can have these questions answered for you and you can refer back to this video in case you get confused. Okay, so one thing I want to clear up right off the bat is how long Lauren and I have been married and when did the show come out? Now, a lot of people think that we got married in 2020 because that's when the show came out. But in fact, Lauren and I got married in November of 2018. So we were married for a year and a half before the show ever came out. And let me tell you, that was a beautiful time. We had this really serene time in our marriage where we could focus on each other without the buzz of the show because it's definitely made our lives more complicated. It's also brought a lot of blessings, but it's made our lives more complicated too. So we've been married for four and a half years at the time of recording. The show has been out for three years. You know, people act like they don't believe me when I tell them that because they think we've been married for three years. They think we got married in real time when in fact the show had been filmed in the past. Production needs time to edit the episode. Um, you know, people were coming up to my parents and asking them, are you worried that Lauren's going to say no to Cameron? It's like they were at the wedding a year and a half ago. They already knew, right? So that's just something to keep in mind. I know some people, they don't even believe me when I tell them we've been married for four and a half years. But anyways, that's the reality of it. I also wanted to clear up something where there's a difference between production and distribution, right? So a lot of people think that Netflix produced Love is Blind when in fact a company called Kinetic Content is the production company behind Love is Blind. So Netflix distributes Love is Blind. They have this massive audience, but Kinetic is the production company that created Love is Blind, that produced Love is Blind. So when I talk about production, I'm talking about Kinetic. I'm not talking about Netflix. Netflix obviously is bankrolling this and they have the final say over the content of the show, but Kinetic Content is the production company who produced Love is Blind. Question two, let me, and I got my paper here, y'all. So I really thought this out. How do we get cast? We get asked this all the time. Lauren and I did not apply for casting. Casting from Kinetic reached out to us and cast us for this show. Now for me, it came in the form of a text message. I ignored the text message at first. I thought it was kind of shady. Two weeks later, I get a voicemail from casting. I call them back. They tell me about the premise of the show. You're talking to a stranger for two weeks through a wall and then you get to decide if you want to propose. I'm like, who would be crazy enough to propose to someone after talking to them for two weeks through a wall? Obviously, that was me. So as I'm going through this casting process, I started to get more invested. And by the way, a lot of people have this misconception that I went on Love is Blind, like really wanting to get married, like thinking that this was my chance to get married. But in fact, that wasn't it at all. I thought that this was going to be a fun two week vacation for my corporate job that I'd get to date these women, you know, they'd probably be really exciting. And I maybe would get to see myself on the episodes for like five seconds in the background, whatever. But obviously it turned out to be way more than that. And I am very, very grateful for that. Now, as I'm going through this casting process, I started to get more mentally invested in being on the show because at first it's like, ah, I'll just fill out the casting application, you know, and kind of jump through the hoops. And then the more I did it, the more I was getting invested in the show to the point where I felt like fate was like really pulling me for the show. I felt like something was really telling me that I needed to do this show. A big one that we always get asked is how real is the show? How real is Love is Blind? First of all, 
there's absolutely no scripting involved. A lot of people have this misconception that reality TV is scripted, it's very contrived, and that may be the case for some reality shows, but that was not the case for us at all. There was absolutely no type of script. Um, all the conversations that we had were spontaneous and organic. Um, the most artificial aspect of things was sometimes a producer would pop up in the background. You know, I might have been talking to Matt Barnett and the producers in the background with an iPad like, hey, ask him how his date was with Jessica or ask him how his date was with Amber. And so I would put that into the conversation. And I don't really see that as a big deal because it was usually questions that we probably would have asked anyways in the conversation. We might have been talking about golf or video games or beer or whatever, but they wanted to redirect the conversation to specific things. And I mean, that's what production's job is. And I do want to make a note that production's job is exactly what it sounds like to produce, to stir the pot to create drama to incite emotions in the cast you have to be very smart and understand what production's job is and if you understand that then you should be good to navigate these kind of dicey waters so to speak right but to sum it up yes the show was very real lauren's and i's dates were very organic production would give us like conversation starters at the start of every day. We didn't have to use them. I did use them here and there, but then I started to really connect with Lauren and think, okay, what do I need to know about Lauren to know if she's the one for me? So every night I would like kind of jot down some things that I wanted to talk to her about, questions to ask her. And that was that. I mean, that's why I think, that's one of the reasons why I think that Lauren and I were able to like figure it out in a relatively compressed timeline, obviously. I mean, it was nine days uh, before we got engaged and that's not very much time. But I think if you talk to a lot of couples who got married early on, they'll tell you like, I knew right away, right? A lot, I've talked to so many couples who told me like, yeah, I knew on the second date we were gonna get married. So for me, it was just figuring out is this a person where I can live with the imperfections, you know, the things that where we clash or we don't agree? Because I'm certainly not perfect. You know, Lauren's not perfect. So can we get along with each other knowing like these things where we just don't always gel? That was the biggest thing that I needed to figure out because I knew everything else was lining up at a certain point so, so well. And, you know, everything felt right. You know that very well if you follow this for any length of time. And that leads to, am I happy with the edits? Am I happy with my edits on the show? Overwhelmingly, yes, I am. I think that I was portrayed very well and accurate. I just have a few very minor things. One is that the show makes it seem like we got engaged after four or five days, when in fact it was nine days. I don't know why they shortened it like that. Maybe it was to make the narrative flow a little bit better on the show, but we got engaged after nine days. The second was more annoying to me, and that's the way they edited my rap to Lauren's mom. When Lauren's mom asked me to rap, I did my rap. Um, I picked a rap that I thought was like my cleanest one, right? But for some reason, they edited it in such a weird way and they like cut parts of it, put them in different places. They put this really whack beat behind the rap. And obviously I think it was made to make me seem corny and kind of cringy. And, you know, I'm not saying it was my best rap ever. I just, I was like, why, why do that? Why not just like let it be how it was, you know? Like that I didn't like. I'm feeling like a kid with you. You're my main chick, those other girls are previews. Hop in the back, rolling up, then we're free to cruise. I drop the top down, feeling like we can't lose. I got one hand on the wheel, one hand on your thigh. You tell me to watch the road, but I look up in the sky. I'm living in a dream and those hands. But otherwise, I thought the edits were good and, and accurate. I kind of wish they'd shown more of like Lauren and I having fun with each other instead of like all this very serious emotional time, but 
I mean, that would be just a bonus because you have to remember there's hours and hours and hours, days of filming that weren't shown and where Lauren and I just had a lot of fun with each other, especially with the After the Altar episode. There were like four scenes maybe of Lauren and I that they eventually released on Instagram that I thought, why not just put those in the episodes of the show? I, I don't know why they didn't. Are Lauren and I actually married? Yes, we are legally married. We've been legally married <laughs> since 2018. Like when you saw us get married on the show, we signed all the paperwork that day, right? So yes, we're legally married as a sidebar. Please don't stalk us in the real world. It's happened. We didn't like it. You know, I know that I really appreciate all the support that we get, but like, you know, we try to maintain that level of privacy. So yeah, please don't stalk us. Okay. I think that's basically it. I think that's basically it for the major misconceptions. Of course, there's a million questions about Love is Blind, right? I wanted to do a video on season four, my breakdown of it. If you're interested in that video, put a comment down below letting me know that you'd like to see my breakdown of season four of Love is Blind. You know, because obviously I get invested in this show. How could I not, right? So if you want to hear me break that down, I will. I will say, however, that season four of Love is Blind is my second favorite season of all time. Obviously, my season is going to always be my favorite because that's where I met my wife. But season four so far is my second favorite season. I'm liking the cast. I'm liking some of the narrative. Uh, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. So those are my thoughts. Overall, thank you for watching this video. If you have some more questions, put those down below as well. Maybe we can do another video on this, but be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you see every time we put out a new video. And until then, I'll see you soon.